My name is James, welcome to the programme. Today we're going to be looking at creative arts in Luton and the colleges surrounding it. So as a creative arts student myself, I find that it doesn't get enough appreciation from the government and schools and doesn't get enough funding. So let's go find out if that's actually true. I decided to start by asking students and teachers in Luton Sixth Form College. I wanted to know what they thought was happening to the industry and whether it was becoming more or less popular. Well, I've only been at Luton Sixth Form for three years, so I didn't really know the, the history or the sort of the creative industries prior to that. Um, I'd say at the moment it looks like they're, they're doing pretty well. There's the new creative quarter um, opening up just down by the railway station by the, the hat factory. Um, seems to be quite a lot of involvement trying to sort of pump money back into, um, into Luton with the sort of the links into London and stuff like that. So it, it looks like it's on the, on the sort of incline at the moment, which is a, which is a very positive thing, very exciting thing. Um, I haven't been in the creative arts industry for very long, or at least haven't been aware enough to comment on it for very long. I'm only 18. But I think it's, if it's improving, it's becoming quieter and not as well represented. But I, because you don't really see as much anymore. There's always been the carnival and uh, fairs and stuff, but they, you don't really see them as much. And the museums aren't very outspoken, so if there is a growing industry, they're very quiet about it. Um, in the time that I've worked in Luton, I've definitely seen an improvement and, and a lot of growth, particularly in the last two to three years. I think drama is really underrated. I think the politicians at the minute uh, are not seeing it for what it is. It's a great way to send messages for uh, people of uh, a young age because they don't really listen to the news, they don't watch TV or anything, they kind of watch Netflix and sometimes they go to see plays and stuff. And, I think it's a good way of spreading messages and uh, politicians need to learn that drama is one of the best ways to get through to young people. people aren't involved and that people don't take the opportunity to go and see things. I don't think it's really classed today as very important still because people think it's not very like a good industry. I think there is a lot of talent here in Luton but I don't think there's enough provision to be able to showcase it. Luton, Luton's a bit of a diamond in the rough and I think it's uh, it's got a lot going for it. I mean, if you, Meet the students at the college, or you know, students who, who are at the universities and things. There, you know, there's there's a lot going on here. Luton itself has a bit of a reputation, and so you know, I think unfortunately, you know, it's going to be stuck with that for a little while. So I think you know, art can't do anything but improve an area with sort of gentrification, with um, the sort of the, the creative feeling that it brings to a place. So. I think there's still a long way to come for a lot of people. I think arts is still a new concept for a lot of organisations. Um, part of the role that I run here is, is therapy for young people and how arts can encourage young people to um, challenge their views, look at the way they behave, you know, look at their characteristics. Um, I think a lot of people still see it as quite Americanised and um, allowing that play um, allowing that creativity allows people to grow in different ways and I think that you know arts, arts plays a really important role in doing that and I think yeah not everyone in Luton has completely got that but I think you know it's our job to be able to open it out to community so it's our job to bring people into the theatre show exactly what play can do show exactly you know how characters can portray you know your cousin or your aunt or your circumstances uh, so yeah I think people are still learning, you know, that actually playing creativity through drama and arts is actually really important and can help with growth. Yeah. 